Hello, my name is Mel Philbrook, and I would like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In today's session, we will show you how to use a local site calibration with Trimble TerraSync Build software. There are several steps to complete this task. The first step is to save a site calibration that was created in Trimble Business Center. The second step is to export that local site calibration from Coordinate System Manager. The third step is to connect a data collector to a computer and make sure that TerraSync's not open. The fourth step is to open GPS Pathfinder Office and export the coordinate system.csw file created in step 3 using data transfer utility. The fifth step is to disconnect the data collector from the computer and launch TerraSync field software. The sixth step will be to change the coordinate system to use the local site calibration and make any other necessary settings. The seventh step is to verify you are now operating on a local site by checking into control. As you can see, I have launched Trimble Business Center and opened up a project called FPI Denver Local. This project consists of four control points that were used in a site calibration. By looking at the northing and easting and elevations, you can see that this coordinate system is not a state plane coordinate system, but a local site. This can also be validated by looking at the point spreadsheet, and you can see that these northings and eastings are not typical state plane values. I'm going to launch the site calibration routine to show you that I performed a horizontal and vertical calibration. And the points that were used in that calibration and that we used both horizontal and vertical values in that site calibration. I can click compute to recompute those values to show the maximum horizontal vertical residuals as you can see in the residual section maximum horizontal residual and maximum vertical residual once you're satisfied with your site calibration, you would need to click Apply. And now you would want to save as a site this site calibration by clicking on the Save as Site radial. For our demonstration purposes, we're going to call this Denver Local. And save this site as Denver Local to the coordinate system manager. Coordinate system manager is shared between GPS Pathfinder Office and Trimble Business Center. As you can see that my recently saved Denver site calibration is saved under the site section. I can actually highlight those two site calibrations and under file export those selected records. I'm going to name this custom export file Haggis Demo dot CSW and click Save. This file will be used later in GPS Pathfinder Office using data transfer utility to send this to my field device. This ends the Trimble Business Center portion of this demonstration. As you can tell I have launched GPS Pathfinder Office and I've opened up a project called Haggis Webinar. The first thing I want to do is show you the power of Coordinate System Manager being shared between 
GPS Pathfinder Office and Trimble Business Center by going to Utilities, Other, and launching Coordinate System Manager. Under Coordinate System Manager, there's a Sites tab where all local site calibrations are saved at. And as you can see, the same 4LazyF site calibration and the recently created Denver Local Site Calibration and its values are all saved in Coordinate System Manager, which is also shared between the two programs. The next thing I want to show you is under Options, Coordinate System Manager. That, that site from that local site cal is also available in Coordinate System Manager. Lastly, under Utilities, Data Transfer, I have connected a Geo 7X to my computer and I made sure to verify that TerraSync is not open on my data collector. I'm going to click on the Send tab and click Add and the object of type that I want to send is a coordinate system .csw file recently created in Coordinate System Manager by exporting. That file is kept under C, Program Files, Common Files, Trimble, Geodata, and you can see the Haggis Demo.csw file that I created in Coordinate System Manager by exporting. I'm going to click Select to select it and Transfer All to transfer that to my Geo7x to be used in TerraSync field software. Click Close, click Close, and that ends all the necessary steps that need to be conducted in GPS Pathfinder Office. I have launched TerraSync on my Geo7X and switching my main menu from Status to Setup. In Coordinate System, I'm going to select by Local Site and under the Site I'm going to verify that I'm using the correct local site, in this case FPI Denver Local. I'm going to make sure my altitude reference units are set correctly and my coordinate units are set correctly. After verifying that my correct local site and coordinate system units have been set correctly, click Done in the lower left hand portion of TerraSync pane to accept the changes. I'm going to click on the Real Time Setting tab and use make sure that my external source settings are set correctly. Under Correction Datum, I'm using WGS84, which means no transformation. And under today's demonstration, the type will be VRS. However, this is just as applicable if you were using a single base, either a, a mobile RTK setup or using internet or re as your connect connection method. I'm going to change it back to VRS, make sure I'm using the correct username and password, and source and click done. Under the main menu I'm going to switch from status and receiver to show that I am receiving cor carrier corrections from my source and my carrier time is 8 minutes and 15 seconds. Under real time I'm also going to verify that my connection time is up, the data packets are being received and my last correction is only two seconds. 
I'm going to switch my main menu to map and the red X indicates my location. I'm going to switch to navigation and switch the submenu to waypoints and load a waypoint file which is the control points for this Denver local control which consists of four points. I'm going to switch back to my map screen and do the last and final step to check into control to verify my accuracies by picking and holding a waypoint and choosing set target. I will then switch my main menu back to navigation and navigate to my control point. This will allow me to check to verify my accuracies are as indicated in the current estimated accuracy window of two centimeters. Once my Geo7X is leveled up over the point, you can see that I'm hitting the expected accuracies both vertically and horizontally. I'm going to switch to my main menu map and start navigating to my second control point to check in. I'm going to pick and hold on the the, the waypoint and set target on that waypoint. And I'm going to switch my main menu back to navigation and navigate to my second control point and last control point that I will be checking in for this demonstration. You can see that my accuracies have been maintaining approximately two centimeters and once we level up on this control point properly you'll see that on the second control point both my northings and eastings and distance and up and vertical are at specifications in conclusion we have shown you how to save a site calibration in Trimble Business Center. The value of Coordinate System Manager being shared between Trimble Business Center and GPS Pathfinder Office. We showed you how to create a custom coordinate system.csw file. We showed you how to use data transfer utility to send that file to a data collector to be used with TerraSync field software. And lastly, we showed you how to, to verify that local site calibration and the use of that local site calibration for a high accuracy GIS data collection effort. That concludes our Frontier Precision Tech Talk on using a local site calibration with TerraSync field software. If you have found this beneficial, I would encourage you to join us Friday, December 12th on our webinar that will cover the value of high accuracy GIS. We'll discuss what high accuracy GIS is, the value of high accuracy GIS, pros and cons of real-time correction sources, what Trimble devices support real-time high accuracy GIS and what software supports real-time high accuracy GIS. Thank you for attending this Tech Talk.